beauties, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, my name is Genesis. If you're new to my channel, then welcome to the beauty family. And if you're already part of the family, then welcome back, girl. Today's video, I'm gonna be straight up with you on what your body goes through through pregnancy. If you wanna know what that is or what happens to your body during pregnancy, like the real tea, then definitely keep on watching. Okay, you guys, today I'm gonna spill some hot tea. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't really talk about this because it's kind of like embarrassing or they just, maybe they're just scared to open up or you know, yada, yada, yada. But I'm gonna go ahead and you know, give you guys like a little rundown as to like some of the changes that happen to you during pregnancy. Not everybody talks about it, but some do, some don't. And I'm not saying that this happens to everyone, like this is my experience. Like some of the friends that I know that we like kind of talk about it. So I know, you know, that I'm not the only one that goes through this stuff. Of course, one of the biggest changes obviously is once you have a baby, your belly grows and you get what is called stretch marks. Some don't, if you don't, then you are so lucky. Those that are less fortunate, we get stretch marks. And you can get stretch marks on your belly, some get them on their legs. I currently have them on my belly, obviously, cause your skin is stretching, so I have them on my body. And I feel like I'm starting to develop some on my thighs, I don't know why, but you know, it's part of pregnancy. Even when you're not pregnant, you know, when you're like, going through puberty like you get stretch marks like i already had stretch marks i didn't have any on my belly but i had some like on my butt and on my thighs like the outer part though not like the inner part but with my first pregnancy i got stretch marks on my belly i'm getting some more now with this pregnancy and then i feel like i'm getting a little bit on my inner thighs so obviously stretch marks and i know like sometimes it sucks because you're like wow like my body's gonna look disgusting once you have your baby like it's not gonna be the same anymore and i mean your body's not gonna be the same anymore like i said you're gonna have stretch marks but think about your kid like your body went through all these changes but you have such a beautiful gift you know i know it can probably be like a struggle sometimes honestly especially if you never had stretch marks before and you're just like what it can be hard but trust me girl we all go through it you're not alone i'm here i got them don't worry <laughs> also some people do get like that line in like the middle of their stomach like where the belly I've never had that. So I really get like a really dark line. Not everyone gets that again. It just depends on how your body is. For the stretch marks, I would recommend you to get like some type of oil or some type of crema that's like really moisturized just to keep your skin moisturized, you know, and not just be like dry or whatever. So it just helps, I feel like, with the elasticity of your skin. Also, another thing that you do get a lot when you're pregnant is discharge. And I mean a lot of it, girl. I know you guys are probably like, Ew, that's so disgusting. But honestly, it's true. You get a lot of discharge. At least I know I do, and I know some of my mommy friends do as well. So I would recommend you if you're a first-time mom, or even if you're not a first-time mom, like I always recommend pads. You know, like the really like um, thin ones that you usually put like before your period or after your period, like the really thin ones. I would recommend to use those just because you do get a lot of discharge. And if you don't, then obviously your underwear is gonna get wet. I also do recommend you to have like separate pair of underwear in your purse just in case you don't have any pads and you get wet down there you know speaking about discharge the odor down there is more prominent and i know a lot of people don't talk about this i know for sure this is my case and i know i'm not the only one that goes through this when you're a mommy it's a good idea to like download the mom apps like the ones that i have are the one that i use the most like that i like read and stuff it's called what to expect and like it tells you like you're like able to put your information like if you're having a boy if you're having a girl how many weeks you are and like it kind of gives you updates each week and lets you know like what your baby is developing that week what size it is and all that good stuff and then people actually do like ask questions or like people talk about stuff and you conversate back and forth with like groups, they like group you with their month of where your baby's gonna be born. Someone had commented on there, they had put like, is this normal? So then I clicked on it and like she was talking about how like the odor down there is like more prominent, like really strong. And a lot of moms were like, oh my God, I am so happy. I thought I was the only one. Like I was so embarrassed to ask anyone. And that's what I'm saying. Like it's good to open up. I know like 
who wants to talk about their vagina smelling? No one, right? And it's not necessarily like the vagina, it's just because again, this discharge, it's like just a stronger smell. If it is smelling like really, really bad, then you should go to your doctor because obviously that's not normal either, like for it to smell really bad. But I'm just saying like, I'm not saying that it smells bad, it's just more stronger. The scent is stronger because again, of the discharge. So don't feel bad if you feel like you smell all the time because honestly, that's what it feels like. You feel like you smell all the time. But yes, your vagina smell becomes more prominent. Not really like fish because it doesn't smell like fish. And honestly, I'm not sure if everyone around you smells it, but I know for sure that you will because I know for sure I smell mine. Like I said, don't feel bad. You're not the only one. A lot of us go through that, so don't feel like, oh my god, me estoy pudriendo por dentro, que fregados. No, <laughs> it's normal for you to smell it down there. Another thing that happens during pregnancy is that it gets harder to shave as further along you get. Like me right now, I can't see my hoo-ha, so I always tell Omar, like, you need to help me shave, like I haven't shaved like in a minute. So it is pretty, you know. <laughs> pretty uh, bushy down there. Not like super bushy, but it is, you know, not super bushy as to the point where I can make a braid, but it's pretty long down there. And I had been telling Omar like, he needs to help me shave. I know like that's kind of weird, like kind of awkward, you know, like, oh my God, how is someone gonna help me shave? But I mean, he's my husband and it all depends how comfortable you are with your partner. Or if you don't want like that, you can always just like look in the mirror, you know, and, while you're looking in the mirror than shaving, but I'd rather just have someone help me because I feel like I'm so scared que me vaya a cortar or something. Like, ugh, I can't. It like, I feel like I can't do the mirror thing because I feel like I'm, I'll cut myself. So yes, shaving becomes a little harder because your belly grows and you can't really see down there. And I know some girls don't even shave at all while they're pregnant because they feel like there's no point. They really don't care. For me, I can leave it like long for a certain amount of time, but I don't want to have it like super long, especially when I deliver. I do not want to have hair down there. So I will definitely be shaving and also my legs. I will definitely be shaving my legs because it's really up to you how you feel, but I wouldn't feel comfortable delivering with hairy legs and a hairy vagina. <laughs> but that's really, you know, it's really your preference. If you don't care, then girl, go for it. Let it grow. Do you? But if you do care, then yes, it does get harder shaving. So I recommend you to ask your partner to help. Or like I said, if you can do it yourself with the mirror. The next thing that can happen to your body, some people get really swollen feet. Thankfully for me, my feet did not get swollen, which I am really happy about. Another thing is you can get various veins. So what that is, is like the purple veins that you can get on like on your legs. And I thankfully don't struggle with that either, but I know some people do. So, you know, keep that in mind. Like I said, just your body changes overall. Obviously the weight gain, if you, are skinny like if you were the type of person that could eat anything i wouldn't gain weight then you are pretty much i think good because those are the people that like snap back like right away like the skinny girls like they have babies and they're like two weeks later and they look like, like nothing ever happened but for like me the less unfortunate um we do have to work harder to get the baby weight off and honestly it's hard after you have a kid like after you have a baby it's hard to go back to the weight that you were or not even sometimes it's you can't even get to there like it you know it's just really hard i feel like it takes really it takes long time and dedication i know a lot of people say that breastfeeding does help with the loss of weight but if you plan not to breastfeed, then how are you gonna do it, you know? Another thing that can happen to you while you're pregnant is either you can be really sexually active, like you wanna hear like you're horny all the time, like you want it all the time, or your drive sex can go Honestly, for me, this pregnancy, I feel like with Nicholas, I was like more like hornier, if that makes sense. I know it's like TMI, but you know, I'm having a girl talk with you guys. I was more like sexually active, and then with this pregnancy, like, mm, Como que no se me antoja mucho. <laughs> I'd rather just like sleep, you know what I mean? And again, it's all about having communication with your partner. If your partner, you know, it's just having a trust and if being able to communicate with your partner, like letting him know how you feel, like, you know what? I really don't feel like it, you know? After the pregnancy, then we can get it on, baby. But as of right now, like, you know, it all just depends on how you feel. 
And again, having that communication with your partner, I feel like is really important so you guys could be on the same page. But um, yeah, those are some of the things that you will go through through your pregnancy and obviously also some hormonal changes. Sometimes you will be like super sensitive. Sometimes you'll cry for nothing or something like super ridiculous. Like, you know, it all just depends. For me, thankfully, I feel like I'm not really hormonal. I feel like I'm the same. Everyone is different. So maybe like you'll cry because se acabó la sola or something. You know, you just, it's just, you just never know to be honest when you're pregnant. Just wanted to kind of give you guys a little like rundown of what happens to your body while you are pregnant. I'm talking about my experiences and like the experiences that me and my friends talk about. But I'm not saying that this is gonna happen to you. Like everyone is different. Again, every, everyone's body is different. So don't be scared. But just wanted to let you know, just in case you do go through these things or you are going through these things, you don't feel like you were the only one. Like there's more people out there with the same issues, with the same problems. You're not alone, girl. I'm here. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I just really wanted to come on here and share my experiences, what I deal with, what other people deal with. Just kind of give you like a rundown because not a lot of people like to talk about, you know, like the odor, the discharge the stretch marks and all that stuff. I know a lot of people don't like to talk about that because they're like, oh my God, that's TMI, but it's normal, it happens, you know, it's bound to happen. So just don't want you guys to feel like you're the only one. So yeah, if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, click that red button so you can become part of the beauty family. And if you have any questions, any comments, any video requests, then definitely leave it down below so I can go ahead and film for you guys. And I'll go ahead and get you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.